Here at ICT, we're not only focused on making breakthroughs in transportation research, but giving back to the community as well. Here's another example of our engineers and students using their expertise, this time to find the graves of forgotten soldiers, all the while helping the local Boy Scouts. This is our oldest cemetery here. Nestled in the village of Muhammad. But 1832 was the first known burial, and it was on the far side of the cemetery. But even this local historian who studied this area for more than 30 years doesn't know exactly where each grave is. We think there's, uh, there's up to 300 burials here and only about 100 are marked. There's, there's probably stones that are underground and haven't seen daylight for 100 plus years. Enter the team of University of Illinois PhD students and ICT transportation engineers. So let's just get around this tree. Yep. All right. So we want so to follow the cord. The equipment exactly. usually used for roads and bridges. Before this, all I'm thinking of is using this technology in construction sites. But this is the first time I'm using this to do this kind of job. Ready? Yep. Go. This kind of job involves pinpointing the buried. There. So basically, the GPR is working by sending electromagnetic waves towards the ground. It's similar to the radar uh, installed on a plane, but instead of uh, shooting to the air, we're shooting towards the ground. And uh, whenever there's something different than soil, Thank you. Uh, it will generate a reflection. So potentially on the screen, we can see a parabola. It's like a shape parabola. So then we know that there's something different than soil. It can be uh, a body or a coffin, or a hollow space, or even a tree root. But as long as that is something different underneath, we need to mark that. And we can analyze later what's going on beneath the surface. The data that we are collecting thus far uh, is almost exclusively of the grave sites. And where that will help them in locating potentially some buried gravestones is that if we have a grave site marked and there's no visible stone, they know then to look in that area for a buried gravestone. Historians say among the forgotten here, several soldiers. That didn't sit well with Boy Scout Logan Weiss. And I just want there to be a marker of this man existed in this world and let's honor him. Weiss enlisted the help of a few friends. I've always had a fascination with the Army. I can't join because of my disability of being deaf, but I, I think I want to respect the people that are buried here by finding their tombstones and hopefully restoring them. The perfect way to help him earn his wings. This is the project I need to do for the community so I can get my eagle. <laughs> It's going to be awesome, yeah. I've always wanted to be an Eagle Scout. For ICT, I'm Kimberly Howard.